folks, welcome back. Well, I got a little story for you. I'll share my stuff ups as well as the stuff that I do right. Looking at the boards right now, you're probably thinking, what's up with all the boards? He told us he was going to be cutting 24 inch wide um, boards here. If you had an 88 foot long um, uh, plywood plank, why is there two sets of uh, plywood being cut here? Well, I was wrong. The hole that I dug yesterday, yep, that was 24 inches by 24 inches. The pier that I'm making ain't 24 inches by 24 inches. It's supposed to be 16 inches by 16 inches. It was on the second board that I was cutting 24 inches wide that I realized that mistake. Lesson number one, measure twice, cut once. And lesson number two, think about it and draw it out if it helps. So anyway, that's what I've done. So what you're seeing on top here are two... Uh, four foot long um, plywood uh, boards and they're 16 inches wide and below that the two uh, uh, wider ones are actually 17 inches wide. Why 17 inches wide? Because these boards will be overlapping uh, the ends of these ones. So these are each half inch thick so that's why I need the extra inch on these side boards. The other stack of uh, wood that you can see uh, piled up over there are uh, two by three studs. What am I using the 2 by 3 studs for? I'm using them to actually brace these. Um, so there'll be uh, three strips of uh, these 2 by 3s laid across here, and also on the bigger boards. And that's what I'll be using to nail these together, just to form the, the square that I need. Why are there two stacks of 2 by 3s, you may ask? <laughs> Ash ain't thinking straight today. So Ash was uh, busy uh, cutting the 2 by 3 into 16 inch uh, strips. Didn't need 16 inch strips. Ash needed 20 inch strips and 17 inch strips. How did Ash work that out? <laughs> draw it, people. Draw it. At least for me, it helps a lot if I draw it out and actually see what I've got going. So, I need uh, 20 inch. I need. Let me start on the easy one. 17 inch strips. So 17 inch strips will be um, nailed against the 17 inch boards. These bigger boards, uh, three across. So I need six of those. I haven't cut those yet. 17 inch boards, what do I need them for? Well, the se sorry, not 17, 20 inch boards, what do I need them for? The 20 inches will actually be uh, nailed across the uh, thinner, the 16 inch boards, and obviously they'll be sticking out four inches on either side. Or not four inches on either side, two inches on either side, four inches difference overall. Why is that? <clears throat> They're gonna be overlapping the wider board as well as the two by three, which is one and a half inches wide on the other end. So uh, that's what I've got going right now. Got to wait for the wife to get back so I can have the big car and go down to Home Depot and get, uh, I need um, uh, two uh, eight inch, sorry, eight foot lengths of uh, two by three to finish up. And while I'll be getting it at the same time is the sacks of concrete that I'll probably be mixing, not tomorrow, but the day after to actually pour this baby. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Um, <laughs> think about what you're doing. And uh, yeah, have a plan together, draw it out if it makes it easier. It's always easier, <laughs> always, always easier to measure it twice and cut once. All right, guys, until next time, talk to you later.